Hi guys, you're gonna have to excuse the mess in the background <laughs> as I'm filming in a different place. I'm sitting on the floor with the animals because today I have a pretty epic B&M haul. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. It is a happy place, or I try to make it so. I do lots of unboxings, lots of shopping hauls. I wrestle with my animals. <laughs> And I mostly make friends and have fun. So if it sounds like your sort of place, please do uh, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, and leave a comment. You'd think by now I'd be good at that, wouldn't you? And there goes Mimi with a cough. Right, so I went to B&M today. I'm starting to get some of my Christmas things together, but I also needed a few bits and pieces. So I thought I'd share it with you because when I got to the till, I nearly died. Okay, out of the way, but please. <sighs> If I get the bag in the way, you might leave me alone. No, 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 please don't. Right. First up, no, but please. First up, I got two of these really pretty little wreaths. I mean, they're fake. They're berries. They've got little white stars on them. They're sort of made out of twigs. A little bit of a red ribbon, a few tiny pine cones, but I've got two of them. They were five pounds each. In my conservatory, I have um, bars that run across the ceiling. Um, if I ever do decorate this properly, I might actually show you guys. And I thought these would look really pretty hanging from those bars. So five pounds each, there goes ten pounds. I bought some food things from a store cupboard. I got <laughs> a bird's custard ready made. Only a pound. My hubby doesn't like bird's custard, but I grew up on bird's custard. It is a real comfort food to me, this. And it is to my kids, because my kids loved it. My ex loved it. So, you know, when all else fails, you get that grotty last bit of cake or a few, you know, stale mince pie, whatever you have floating around. You pour a glug of this over it and yum yum. So for a pound, I thought, put it in the cupboard. Wouldn't be me if I didn't pick up some trackers. A pound, as always, it's the peanut and caramel. I've tried loads of the other flavors. These though, oh, they're so good. It's that salty sweetness. I had to pick up some more of the fake candles because the last ones that I bought at B&M, my daughter adopted for um, bonfire night. They um, did some pumpkins, you know, did the Halloween faces and the pumpkins and she put those in them and then they put them outside for display. And I said, please keep an eye out because if it rains, and of course it did rain and she didn't bring them in. So they didn't last very long, but I've got some more now. So I'm quite happy about that. And I am gonna kill this dog in a minute. <laughs> But they were 2 99 and you get eight. And they colour changed. The kids thought they were brilliant. Again, as always, I picked up some more of these. I mean, I love them. These, this is what I turn to if I'm really, really hungry, you know, about sort of an hour or so before bed. I'll have a couple of these and a little bit of cheese. They're two pounds for a pack of three. I bought some about a week, 10 days ago from Sainsbury's and they were 139 each. So that is one heck of a saving and well worth stocking up on. My grandkids love Freddo Frog. These were a pound a pack, there's five in each. They're not allowed them very often, but for a reward or if they've been poorly or they've been brave or something like that, they always ask for a Freddo. And grandma keeps them in her house. Mummy can't because the kids know and they mither and they mither and they mither. So I keep them and occasionally I'll get a text from my daughter saying, please would you bring a couple of Freddos? And so I've got them ready. It's like a zoo in here today. I cannot believe I'm trying to do this, but I'm gonna keep going. Stop it, please, Bert. For my daughter with a bad back, I picked up two of these. There's two in a pack, the heat relief pads. They were only a pound for two, which is really good. I know they're not a fancy brand, they're Care Essentials, but I mean, a heat pad is a heat pad, surely. Um, just to try and keep her going, I'm shoving him out of <laughs> It's a pain in the bum. <laughs> so I got two of those. So I thought I could put a pack in my house. I'll have a pack of two in my house in case somebody does something in here. And she could have the other ones and let me know if they're any good. And if they are, I'll go and get some more. They also had an offer on Basmati rice. 59p each or two for a pound. Now that is a really good price for Patak's Basmati rice. I think they also have the um, Pila rice as well, but I prefer Basmati. I'm not keen on the little, um, oh, what are those little sort of, seed pods they put in there not coriander the word will come to me but if I get one in my mouth oh, 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 oh. so I prefer this I can flavor it up myself then can't I I picked up for my daughter to cheer up because I've never seen these before either they were a pound finest quality veggie bites 
they are vegan veggie bites, which is even better. I mean, she's vegetarian now. She used to be vegan, but since she got pregnant the first time, she was like, there are so few things I can eat, mum, and I'm being sick most of the time. So, so she went vegetarian rather than vegan, but these happen to be vegan. Um, and they're made with things like pea flour and corn, carrots, peas, peppers, potato flakes. So, yeah, a pound. I thought it'd be a nice little snack for her. This is going in my son-in-law's stocking. A three pack for 4 dollars of men's boxer shorts. He's a mechanic, right? <laughs> and like a lot of mechanics, he seems to wander around hoiking his trousers and his pants all the time. His trousers always seem to be on the point of falling down from, you know, working his way under cars or under tractors or whatever. And eventually what happens is the elastic band around the middle just parts way where it's constantly being hoiked up. So I saw these they happen to have them in extra, extra large, which he needs because he's a very, very big boy. I don't mean fat, he's big. Um, so I picked up a pack and I'm going to keep my eyes out for some more because I generally keep my eyes out. <laughs> I'm going to keep an eye out um, because one of the things that I always put in his stocking is pants. And I put in the really, really thick uh, worky man socks like um, Caterpillar or one of those sorts. So again, they're going to go in there. Some pyjamas, a couple of t-shirts. I always do them a little stocking, so that's what those are for. It does feel weird to say I just bought pants for my son-in-law, but I picked up some of the peanut uh, brunch bars by Cadbury's. Love them. Can't get those very many places, but again, a pound. Oh, and I also picked up the kids for a pound of bag of, it says, Freddo and Friends. So it's got the Freddo frogs. It's also got the sort of caramelly ones. Little curly woolies and little fudges. There are 12 pieces in there. So I thought that was really good value. And if they do like the other things, I'm not sure yet, <laughs> then that's even better buy than the pack of five Freddo frogs. I got two more of these. Now you're gonna think we're the smelliest family in the world, or we don't wash, or something similar. But this last few days, having to help my daughter quite as much as I have with making beds and putting children to bed and cleaning up sick and all those wonderful, glorious things, I have been scrubbing mattresses, I've been scrubbing carpets, I mean, you name it, I've scrubbed it. And I've used all sorts. I've used all sorts of products and I can mostly get them clean. But they don't smell that nice. And this stuff smells so good. So, I'm taking some next door. I've already taken one in and virtually used it because of course it's anti-back. So I can spray the whole of the children's mattresses. I can spray all of the carpets. I can spray bits of clothes and get a lovely smell. Now I showed it to my daughter because you know, she can be funny. She's a mother, I've got to back off, back off their grandma. So I had to make sure it was okay with her. But she took one sniff and she said, you know what that is? She said, that's Lenore Blue Skies and She's absolutely right. If you like Lenore Blue Skies, you're going to love this stuff. And you can use it on any sort of fabric. 99% um, anti-back. And it's a pound a bottle. I picked up two of these washing machine cleaners. Not seen them before. Again, it's a brand I've never heard of called Sparkle and Shine. But since I did so well with the dishwasher ones, I thought, why not give this a go? Now, there, it's a two pack. Each box has two in it for a pound. Um, and it's supposed to help. Ooh. <laughs> Teaches me for trying to be all. They're supposed to help clean your machines. Now, again, going back to the fact that my son-in-law is a mechanic, you want to believe his clothes when they go in that wash, they're stinky. And she tends to do his clothes and then have to run the machine once, sometimes twice, to get it clean enough to put then the family clothes in. She doesn't yet have two machines, which is what, in an ideal world, I think she should have. So I thought, well, if she got these, or tried these, it could be better and really, really clean the machine. And I mean, all washing machines need a clean sometimes, so I've got some for me as well. Having just mentioned the dishwasher stuff, exactly the same. I bought it again, um, but this time again, it's gone into my daughter's as well. 89p. It's funny, isn't it? You bring your kids up, I think we spoil them. I certainly spoil mine. When I was a kid, I had lots of chores around the house. I knew how to do washing and ironing really from very young. <laughs> and we didn't even own a dishwasher, so washing dishes by hand was something I did. But I just, I don't think I did it enough with mine. Now, I'm not saying she doesn't do her dishes because she does. I'm not saying that she's not clean. She is. But she doesn't know the funny things that we do. 
us older women like cleaning your dishwasher, cleaning your washing machine, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to turn her on to it because I've been so impressed. It's not all things you've seen before. How's this for something different? This is called a silicon scrubbing brush and it's two pounds. Two pounds? Yes, two pounds. So on the one side, you've got the silicon, you know, brush, if you will. And on this side, you've got sort of waves of silicon. I'm gonna bring it in. Hopefully you can see that properly. Now, the reason I got this is I have velvet sofas in, well, I was gonna say the tidy room. It's not really very tidy, but the room I'd take guests to. And the dog hair seems to stick to the velvet like you wouldn't believe. And I use the hoover on it a lot. But I was thinking the other day that it can't be good for me to have to hoover it as often. And these not only will scrub things with the soft bristles, but it lifts pet hair from things. A bit like a linen roller, but you don't have to replace the, you know, the sticky on it all the time. So I thought for two pounds, it was worth a try. I'm hoping my sofas will look a bit better. I've never seen this before. Brilliant Black by Dylon. Now I use colour catchers when I'm doing a mixed load. I do whites, I do darks, and then I do a mix. I use a colour catcher. But sometimes my blacks don't stay as black as I'd like them to. I know to turn them inside out, cool wash, the whole nine yards, but sometimes they don't. These are an innovative sheet that revives the depth and intensity of dark colours and helps to protect the brilliance of blacks and darks. 10 sheets in there, it was a pound. Surely to goodness it's worth a try because you know, jeans sometimes can start to look a bit sort of, um, yeah, faded before you want them to look faded. So there, I picked up some bulbs. This time I remembered to get them with the wide screw base. You know the bulbs these days. Is anyone else out there with me on this? In the old days it was so, so easy. They were bayonets and they were, you know, 40, 60, 100. These days, I can never figure it out. So if I get the fixing right, I think I've won these days. These were two pounds. No, they weren't. They were 4 .99. I worked it out that they made them £2.50 a bulb. <laughs> That's what I was about to tell you. Because they had bigger packs there, but actually they were working out at three and four pounds a bulb. So I don't know how that happens. But these were 4 .99 for two. I like to have some spare. Funnily enough, I just had to replace two. I've got some more eye patches. You know, I fight my eyes all the time. So they're going to become almost a daily thing, I think. Because at a pound a pack with three sets in each, you know I tried the lavender ones the other day, which were all right. I wasn't that impressed. These ones are by Skin Techniques. This one is Gold Hydrogel Collagen Eye Mask, Rejuvenating and Smoothing. Definitely need that. And then this one is the Hydrogel Eye Mask with Brightening Vitamin C, Nourishing and Rejuvenating. Six eye pairs of eye masks for two pounds or three a pound that's not a lot if it does help with this whole crepey area you recognize these <laughs> endless these pajamas i bought myself some i thought you know what i want a christmas photo of all of the family next door and me in christmas pajamas so i bought them and now I'm thinking I maybe ought to get some for my eldest daughter because I think she might be coming home for Christmas. Eight pounds, ladies, Christmas crew, pyjamas. You know how much I love the Fabulosa spray in the, um, it's called Winter Garden. Well, they actually have the liquid there for mop and bucket, that kind of thing. So um, it's slightly more expensive. For some reason, it's a pound if it's in a 500 mils in the spray bottle. I'm presuming that's di diluted and this one isn't. Um, I think this was 159, but I was still happy because the smell is fabulous. I think this is the last boring thing I bought. It's a Baxter's Super Good salad dressing. It's mango, coconut and kombucha dressing. It was 59p which i think is amazing and i do love a salad and i am a lover of salad dressings so i've never had it but i have high hopes it's certainly different especially if you're having a salad with some turkey you know the days after christmas when you're feeling all bloated but you've got a ton of turkey to eat stick a bit of mango on it lovely now we start getting into some more of the christmas things i saw this <laughs> that cute is wooden there's penguins they've got them uh penguins i think they've got 
I want to say Father Christmases and something else, but I just love the penguins. It was eight pounds. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And I couldn't resist it. Picked up a couple of tubes of wrapping paper for doing the kids paper. What I love, kids paper, for doing the kids presents. What I like about it is, where's the label? It's 12 metres long. I'm sure it's not the thickest Christmas paper in the world, but then it won't last two seconds with the kids attacking. But 12 metres long, because you know sometimes we buy them things and they're so flipping big. They were a pound each. And I was pleased. For the adults though, for the nicer presents, I bought this, which was five pounds. It's an all wrapped up set. It has one, two, three, four rolls of wrapping paper. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bows, some ribbon and some tags. And it's all coordinating. And I thought that was lovely. I do love me a bit of red and gold at Christmas. The rolls of wrapping paper are 1.5 meters long so you know they're not long but then for adults we tend to buy them small dinky presents don't we so five pounds and it should look smart it's gone really dark here it started raining and thundering and it's really miserable so i'm hoping you can still see me okay and this isn't a rubbish video i picked up some more lights these are a thousand lights I chose warm white, I like the warm white. They're reduced from 29.99 to 25. They've got lots of them there. Um, they've got an eight function memory. I tend not to like them flashing and things like that, but these are actually for outside. I like to decorate. There's some bits and pieces outside that I like to put lights around. Um, and the total cable length, <laughs> this is the important bit, is 84.92 meters. So it's really, long in the past i've got carried away by the number of lights and not realized that they just put a lot on a small cable this is a really long cable and i should be able to decorate beautifully outside i i toyed with multicolored and then i decided to be just a little bit classy <laughs> i don't know why i'm trying to be classy because i'm not a classy chick we're down to the last two things one more christmas thing and one thing for me so the next thing for christmas is this it's a wall decoration and it's Father Christmas climbing a ladder. Look at that. I think he's adorable. He was £15, which I know is not cheap, but things like this last forever. And this one can hang on the wall. He's got a bell. He's really, really traditional to look at. And I just love things like this. So I couldn't resist. I've got to keep this out of the way of Bert though, because he will chew it. So the very last thing isn't a Christmas thing. I'm going to drag it over. It's a little um, drawer set. Hoping you can see that. It's actually in the kids section, but this is grey with white stars on, which is, you know, it's not screamingly childlike. I couldn't find the one that they had in what I would call the adult section was dark grey and looked really dull. So I went with this one. This is to go next to my dressing table with all the extra makeup and things that I'm getting these days. It seems to be everywhere at the moment. It's in pots and, you know, I'm beginning to really... Oh, God, he's back. I'm beginning to really, really run out of space. So I saw this. This was, I think, 15. Was it 15 pounds? Hang on, let me check. Yes, 15 pounds. Um... It's wooden with three grey baskets. Now I looked at baskets on their own and they were sort of two for seven. So you're talking seven, sort of 10.50 in baskets and then 4.50 for the little wooden unit is how it sort of breaks down. The reason I didn't go with just baskets is of course you can't stack them. So I thought this was a good idea and it has a proper solid top to it so I can use the top as well. So that was it. That was my latest B&M haul. I've got so many hauls coming, guys. I went in Sainsbury's and had a bit of an ish there and spent some money. I went into the range. I'm going to have to do an accumulative one because some shops, I've only bought sort of one or two, three things in. So I'm going to have to combine some of them, I think. But this was B&M. This was B&M today. And um, I thought you'd like to see it. So <laughs> there we go. And Bert has finally settled down. Mimi has stopped coughing and has wandered off. And um, I've now got to clear all this up. <laughs> okay, guys, if you've got rain where you are, 
I hope you're in the warm. I hope you're cosy. I hope you're cushioning down because that's what I'm going to do now in a minute. Okay. Bye, guys. Betty, 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 Betty. No. Betty, look. Betty, look. Betty, look. Whoops. Betty. Bert. What are you doing, Bert? Oh my God. Hello, you two. Would you stop? <laughs> Any chance of you stopping anytime soon? <laughs> stop it! Get off of me! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Hello, Mimi. Hello, Mimi girl. Hello, my Mimi girl. <laughs>